I made this book. I am so excited that I made this book all from scratch. Let me show you some of it. Here you go. So I created this book from scratch, from the story, the ideas, every single page, and how it all came about. So my nephew's birthday is coming up, and I'm so excited because I love to give custom presents. I know he likes to read books. So I thought, how about I create a custom book designed specifically for him, where in the book, he's the protagonist and it goes through all of these different scenes all about him. So today I want to show you how exactly I did that. Let's get into it. The tools that I'm using today are Notion and Canva for the planning and the design. Both of these tools are completely for free. Before you forget, please try and subscribe to my channel so I get the motivation to keep on making these videos. So before even getting into the pages of the book, the top thing that I like to do is planning my project. Let's get to my computer and look at it. I went into Notion and I planned what will be the mood, the scenes, visual style and the message because what's a children's book without a message? This planning step is super important for me because the methods that I'm going to use today rely heavily on generative AI. And I see that when, we're, when I'm using generative artificial intelligence, if I do not have a plan in my mind already, then it just keeps on generating stuff that confuses me more than it helps me. So I want the visual style to be like that of a 90s Hindi comic book. So I roughly plan out the scenes, I go into images on the internet and I copy paste things that I like. Then I plan out the things that he likes, the kind of food he likes to eat, the kind of uh, toys he likes to play with, the activities he likes to do with his friends. So after my planning is done, I will go into Canva, canva.com and go and look through some page layout examples. Now Canva doesn't have a children's book as a template. So I just go ahead and choose a photo book. I browse through some templates. Oh, I find this one that I like. It is a wedding book, so not quite the mood, but the image will be on top, text will be at the bottom. That is how I want this book to turn out. And I want consistency between pages. So I'm just going to use the first page as a template and I will draw borders around those elements so I can stay within the lines. Next, I will go into elements and write down the first prompt, let a boy who lives in Colorado. And then there are options for style. And I want a style that is more in line with my visual style from my notion. So I go back and just check it out just to make sure I am aligned with what I'm thinking about. And then the closest thing that I find is watercolor. So I, I hit enter and try to generate all these images. And it takes some time to generate this image. It gets a little boring, especially when you do it a lot of different times. But, uh, oh, I see the results and I'm not mad. I find one that I like. This one is something that I like. It was more in line with what I was thinking in my mind, but it doesn't quite match my nephew's physical features yet. And it's not like I want to give my nephew's picture and feed it into artificial intelligence. I don't want it to be like that. And I don't know if that's ethical. So what I will do is I'm just going to change the hair color because that's the most prominent difference that I see. I want the hair color to be dark. So I will go into edit photo and then magic edit and we'll choose the standard brush size for now. And I will just select the area that contains his hair and then I'll go to describe your edit and I will say change it to dark brown. Again, take some time to load and the results. I really like the results. The next thing that I want to do is to put a gray house in the background. He has a gray house and he just loves it. So I would love to include it in the first page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a gray house. Again, it doesn't have to look exactly like his house, just a general abstract idea. So I will generate a gray house. And once it's done, I will put it behind our subject using either command option square or align and then background. And then I will fill the image space, the, the area that I had covered in the, uh, in the border. And then I will remove the background from this voice image. So when that happens, it looks like the house is in the background and then the guy is in the front. And I'm really loving how this is turning out. I think I'll be able to generate all my scenes like that. So I keep on going uh, back to my notion. I will do this a lot of times. Now, I did that for all of my different scenes. I've put the text at the bottom and then all the image on the top. All in all, it took me like three days after work to do this. So maybe roughly like 15 hours in total. I kept on doing that, uh, editing them, editing more of the stuff. For example, there's this hair over here that doesn't quite match the description. I want it to be a little darker. So I generate some patterns. I enter them. Some places I'm just doing it manually, like coloring into the space. And it's actually really fun to do it a few times, but then 
I had to do it for all my different scenes. It became a little repetitive. And all in all, I made 26 pages. By no means, this is perfect because in every picture, you will see that the facial features are a little bit different and it's not accurate. It's not fully consistent between pages, but all in all, it follows the pattern. It follows the general story. It follows his life and it is in line with what I wanted to achieve as a gift for him. So I'm pretty impressed with the results. I do a few rounds of proofreads and uh, size checks and I finally place the order within Canva. I could probably do it in a local a printing store like a Walgreens or a CVS uh, and this is the only place that I actually ended up spending money and if you think about it it was it's a lot more cost effective than any other present I would have gotten for him. It came in this cute little package and I'm so excited. I go through it it turns out it is it is really as good as I had and I'm liking this. Now, I know that Canva is providing all these images and generating it for free for now but it still costs money behind the scenes to generate all these images. So there is a limit to how many images you can create. The best way to use these generate less. So again, planning that in the Notion or wherever you notes template that you would like to use is very helpful. That was my journey in creating this book. I'm so excited to post it and hopefully he will like it. If you have any questions at all, you want to know about this book, about my process, let me know in the comments and I would love to answer them. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you next time.